Immunosearch is a company that was founded 10 years ago to develop alternative tests to replace the traditional animal models. We are located in Grasse, which is the uh, capital of the perfume development. So the main actors of uh, perfume ingredients development, like MAN, Roberté and Argeville, founded us to develop alternative models to replace the animal models usually used in the toxicology of cosmetics ingredients. We are doing more than 300 tests per year for something like 15 to 20 different companies in the cosmetics or in the perfume ingredients. At Immunosearch, we have developed three assays, the Senses for skin sensitization, the Iris for skin irritation, and uh, we have now developed a new assay, which is called the Eye Iris, which is the first assay that can quantitate eye irritation and classify the different products into the different THS category. When we develop this test, and this is true for all the tests we are developing, the two main challenges is try to find the right 3D model, and the uh, second challenge is being sure that your database is strong enough to measure the accuracy of your developed essay. The 3D model we are, we are using is usually the EpiSkin model from the EpiSkin company. And we have selected that model in the beginning because it was the first one to be validated for skin irritation. The ingredients are directly put onto the skin at different concentrations. And after a, an incubation for six hours, we prepare the RNA and cDNA. Then we do a, a quantitative PCR on 62 different biomarkers. And then we are looking at the specific signature that tells us whether the product is an irritant or a sensitizer. One is the signature for chemical that bind to lysin, and one is the signature for chemical that bind to cysteine. And actually it's exactly the same for the DPRA, direct peptide reactivity assay, which looking at the binding of the chemical onto lysin or cysteine. So the census assay is do, doing exactly the same. What's unique in the census assay is that you can test everything you can put on the skin, which is not doable in assay looking at cells in suspension, because something which is oils, for example, will be very difficult to dissolve in water. And the second main advantage of the census assay is that it is quantitative. The census assay has been developed for cosmetic ingredients. So now we are developing it to test finished products the ability of the census assay to test silin and hydroxycyline, and we also are developing the assay for uh, medical devices and we have a recent publication on the use of the census assay for medical device. Biggest accomplishment of Immunosuit last year was the uh, validation of the census assay by the ECVAM, which uh, opened the door to a guideline for that assay uh, at the OECD. Our biggest hope for the next years at Immunosearch, now that the census assay has been validated by EGVAM, is being able to make it uh, available for everyone all over the uh, world. We've been working with Immunosearch for a long time, and this project is a synergy uh, between an industrial uh, entity and an academic entity. The collaboration with Immunosearch aims at de uh, developing a signature of carcinogenic compounds, mainly in the lungs or at the moment in the lungs, and maybe later or in other organs. For this, uh, we are using a technology which is based on single cell transcriptomics. This will generate a lot of data that will be analyzed using artificial intelligence and high throughput uh, data processing. Single cell transcriptomics allows you to have a very detailed signature of every single cell that are present in the lung epithelium. This lung epithelium is a very complex uh, system and uh, as a response to a carcinogen, we can provide a signature on at least five different cell types and the data that we've already obtained show that these five responses are different in the different subtypes present in the epithelium. And now it's just a matter of uh, going through the, the pipeline with more and more compounds in order to have uh, enough data for the artificial intelligence people to, to process and provide meaningful signature that will be predictive of toxicological compound. 
Having set this project on the lung, we are expecting to move to the liver, which is another very important organ in toxicology, to use this established pipeline to, to, to obtain these signatures in the liver. Working with people in immunosearch is something that we have done for a long time, so we know them and the human aspect is at least as important as the scientific aspect. The fact that we are five miles down the road means that we have a frequent meeting and all that is very informal, so it's really a pleasure to, to be in this kind of setup and to combine the best of academics with the best of industry.